Back in 2021, Tesla's big robot reveal was, well, a person in a robot costume. But fast forward to today, and the real Optimus is making some genuine progress. The latest updates are starting to look truly human-like motion. What's even more exciting is Tesla's timeline. At Tesla's Q1 event 2025, Elon Musk revealed they're aiming to produce thousands of these robots this year, enough for what he calls a Roman Legion. Keep watching, because you'll see how Optimus is doing things most thought were still a decade away, and why Walmart might be using these before your next birthday. On April 2nd, Elon Musk shared a brief but eye-catching clip of the Optimus bot, and it immediately sparked attention. This wasn't the stiff mechanical shuffle we've grown used to seeing from humanoid robots. Optimus moved with straight knees, a natural heel-to-toe roll, arms swinging gently at its sides. Not only did it balance, it almost flowed like it was taking a walk in the park. There was a sense of rhythm in its steps, like it had been watching us walk for years and finally decided to try it out. The caption under Musk's post read, Accurate actuators accelerate automation. And if that sounded bold, the movement backed it up. Every joint, every sway, every moment of balance looked refined. Not perfect, but purposeful. When you watch it, there's something strangely familiar about how it moves. It taps into that very human quality of motion. Subtle, stable, and intuitive. You don't need to be a robotics expert to feel the difference. A robot that simply stays upright is one thing. A robot that mirrors the rhythm and coordination of a human stride? That's a whole other level. The bot didn't look like it was following code line by line. It looked like it understood movement. And that subtle shift from program to practice is where the magic really happens. Before we get on with the video, hit the like button to prove you're not a robot. Now, how exactly did they get a robot to move like that? Tesla's VP of Optimus, Milan Kovac, broke it down. What we're seeing wasn't guided by remotes, tethers, or choreographed scripts. The gate was built entirely in simulation, using reinforcement learning. The robot practiced walking in a virtual world, learning through trial and error, like a toddler, but faster and with zero bruises. Once mastered, that virtual skill transferred to the real bot. No puppeteering, just software, sensors, and Tesla-built hardware syncing in real time. Actuators control the limbs with precision. Sensors read every surface, angle, and shift, and keeps it all balanced, adjusting on the fly. Then there's the power under the hood. With Tesla's 4,680 battery tech, Optimus Gen 3 charges in just 10 minutes. That's huge. Less downtime, more productivity. And this machine moves with purpose. It's fully autonomous in harsh environments, guided by the same AI backbone behind Tesla's self-driving cars. Physically, it's quicker, smoother, and more agile. The walking feels real, the responses are sharp, and its sensors help it navigate complex tasks with ease. Oh, and if something breaks? Optimus can self-repair, keeping itself running with minimal human help. The walk turned heads, but the way it learned to walk? That's the real game changer and we're only scratching the surface of what else it might learn next. Let's take a quick step back. In 2021, when Tesla first introduced Optimus, it wasn't even a robot. It was a man in a sleek costume, more theater than tech. It looked cool on stage, sure, but it was a placeholder, a sketch of a vision. Fast forward to the prototype stage, and suddenly, the dream had legs, literal ones. By the end of 2024, Optimus bots weren't kept on display, they were moving around, mingling with guests at the CyberCab event, answering philosophical questions, showing off their balance and awareness. That moment marked a real shift. They weren't models anymore. They were participants. Now we're in another chapter. Tesla's Fremont factory has built the very first production unit. Not anymore a one-off prototype or a backstage demo model. This Optimus came straight off the actual production line. That's a milestone. A line means scalability. It means repeatability. It means the design has matured enough to move from lab to floor, from idea to product. And now building with the intention of real-world application. It's the clearest sign yet that Optimus is moving from concept to commercial tool. And speaking of scale, let's talk about the numbers. At Tesla's Q1 2025 all-hands meeting, Elon Musk shared a vision that raised more than a few eyebrows. The company, he said, 
is gearing up to build up to 12,000 Optimus robots this year. That's the upper limit. Realistically, he tempered expectations and said 5,000 was more likely. But then came the comparison that caught everyone's attention. Musk referred to that number as equivalent to the size of a Roman legion. That's not a metaphor you hear every day in a tech company briefing. A legion, 5,000 humanoid robots, trained in simulation, assembled in factories, and potentially deployed into warehouses, showrooms, maybe even homes someday. A little wild to think about, a literal legion of robots prepared to join the workforce. They're not coming one at a time, they're coming in formation. Musk's plan doesn't stop there either. He's already looking ahead to 2026 with a goal of building 10 legions. That's 50,000 bots in one year. The numbers are growing fast, and so is the ambition. Not surprising considering we're talking about Elon Musk here. The Optimus has become assets, functional, scalable, and maybe soon, unavoidable. And if you're wondering what they'll actually do when deployed, that's exactly what comes next. Tesla's first deployment plan for Optimus keeps things close to home, on the factory floor. The idea is simple. Take repetitive, physically taxing, or dangerous tasks and hand them over to a robot that doesn't need brakes, safety gear, or supervision. In Tesla's world of precision engineering and non-stop production, Optimus fits naturally. But that's just step one. The real ambition lies far beyond the assembly line. Elon Musk has laid out a sweeping vision where Optimus finds its way into households, hospitals, warehouses, and retail spaces. A robot folding your laundry, assisting an elderly family member, or navigating a crowded logistics hub with precision doesn't seem so far anymore. That potential isn't based on fantasy. It's grounded in tech Tesla already uses. The motors from their EVs, the battery systems that power them, and the AI that navigates streets full of unpredictability. The same intelligence that guides a self-driving car could someday help a robot move through your kitchen. And Musk isn't coy about the scale. He believes Optimus could become Tesla's biggest product ever, bigger than any vehicle they've made. In fact, he predicts it could be 10 times larger than Tesla's next biggest product line. And with that kind of ambition, Tesla's looking at a robotics boom. Musk forecasts a future where robot production skyrockets, 40 million units per year within the next decade. By mid-century, possibly hundreds of millions. That surge won't come out of nowhere. It's driven by exponential leaps in computational power and smarter AI models. It's no longer whether we can build robots, it's how fast we can scale them. But scale doesn't mean much without accessibility. That's where Tesla's pricing target comes in. The goal is to sell Optimus between $10,000 and $20,000. That's not cheap in everyday terms, but in robotics, it's a breakthrough. Humanoid robots today cost well into six figures. If Tesla delivers on that range, they're opening the door to small businesses, startups, even individual households. And with AI at its core, not rigid pre-programmed behavior, Optimus can adapt. It can walk into a new space, learn how to move, adjust to tools, understand workflows. That flexibility sets it apart. Even Boston Dynamics has taken notice. Musk is aware of the ripple effects too. He's talked about Optimus slashing labor costs and changing the economic equation for entire industries. But with that comes the need for policies, ways to handle workforce shifts, retraining, and new kinds of jobs. Because once these bots start moving beyond the lab and factory, the question becomes, who's really ready to live alongside them? Beside the ethical debate, Musk also has his eyes far beyond factory floors. By late 2026, he plans to send Optimus to Mars aboard Starship. The goal? Let robots handle the prep work, like setting up habitats, unloading cargo, maybe even building basic infrastructure, before humans ever set foot on the Red Planet. It's an ambitious leap, but it fits the vision. If Starship is ready in time, and if energy systems can be designed to sustain Optimus in Mars' thin atmosphere and freezing temperatures, then this could be the first true robotic expedition to shape another world. Optimus, trained in virtual worlds and tested in Tesla's factories, could become the groundwork crew for human life beyond Earth. Musk says humans might arrive by 2029 or 2031, but he wants the robots to be there first, ready to pave the way. It's bold, risky, and wildly futuristic, and it sets the stage for an even bigger plan taking shape back on Earth. 
So here we are in 2025, watching a robot walk across a floor, knowing that by next year, we might be seeing legions of them doing actual work. It's a leap from prototypes to production, and maybe, just maybe, a glimpse at the future workforce. Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay updated on tech shaping tomorrow.